Okay, good morning. Uh, this video you've clicked on is the first video in our southern trip. So, really wanting you guys to pay attention. Uh, some of you guys may be aware that Nina and myself have been toying around with the idea of inviting a couple of viewers, subscribers, along on a trip with us. So, now that we know what the south has to offer, Plus, after visiting a tribal village and learning what they get up to each march, we thought this may actually be the perfect opportunity to invite a couple of viewers along and I'll make this our first trip. Uh, no, nothing is set in stone yet, guys. Uh, a lot of details have got to be worked out, costing how many days, um, things like that. But if this is something you're interested in, uh, we're planning on returning next March. So, giving you plenty of time. We're counting on the borders being open by then. I know I've been light on the details. That's deliberate. I want you to see what the South has to offer. And more details will follow throughout this series as, as we work out those details. Uh, like I said, nothing is set in stone, but I just want to see some feedback see who may be interested and see what you guys think of the south you know if the south doesn't appeal to you let us know in the comments um where you'd like to go in the north you know like i said it is something we've been toying around with for a little while and um i will actually do a video separate on it anyway guys sit back buckle up and enjoy the ride Okay people, we've just uh, arrived in Santa. We're going to stop here and find ourselves some barbecue chook. Santa was on Route 13. It's where you turn off to um, head towards the Mekong and Savannah Kek, which is 30 kilometers away from here. So this is all we're after. Just some barbecue chook. Get in the whack it back on the coals for us and we'll eat it while we're driving into town. Beautiful, thank you, Cap J. This have everything in this. Yeah. It's not just a cookie, cookie or drink, but they have papaya salad, sandwiches. And they have salad. And what are these things? These are the fruits. Fruit. They make with vinegar. What? They have everything, don't they? Yeah. Have drink, have food, have cookie, have egg, have fried rice. Fully loaded. Even got salad bar underneath. Huh? Got a salad bar underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nini's just here gathering more subscribers. Yeah. Hey! Mm, 10,000 kips at one dollar. This is uh, the sugar palm, not like the coconut palms. The sugar palms have the fan shaped leaves. Frigging hard to get into, so they do all the hard work and get it all out for you. And just this is the center of it. Not as nice as coconut. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I'm pretty sure I told you. We're staying at Savannah Ket tonight, um, 30 kilometres from Seno. From Seno, Puxi is 236 kilometres. We'll be leaving in the morning, heading down that way. Um, Nene's got family business down there on Sunday, so it'll give us a couple of days to look around Puxi. There's some type of, what is it, food festival or coffee festival down coffee there? Coffee festival. Coffee festival. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, that sounds all right. In his hometown, for those who remember, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but just thought I'd better mention it for you newer subscribers. We've done a few other bits on this before, so uh, just uh, just do a search inside my channel for Savannah Cat, and you'll probably find half a dozen or more videos there.
San Sabai, the new San Sabai. Right, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> There's a reason why this concrete hasn't been swept. And we've got fighting chickens here. The place is abandoned. Well, it's not abandoned. It's a big chain on the door over there. It's locked up. COVID. COVID hadn't affected the place when we were here in March. Uh, there's another branch of theirs, a kilometre along this road, so no dramas. The drama was, <laughs> he stood there and watched us unpack all our bags. <laughs> and never said anything until we went to walk in. He said, oh, we're closed. Tell us before we unpack, dude. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Alright oh, guys, we found a place. We went up to their their other branch and it was not much better. It was a bigger place but not much better for 470,000. That's 47 US dollars. 60 Aussie bucks, 65 Aussie bucks a night. There was nowhere near anything. We're right on the river here guys. Nong Soda guest house. That's the residence. 120 a night, within walking distance to everything, to the night markets. And the new foreshore that has been redeveloped. Show you that later. But for 120, which is 12 US dollars. Not bad for 120. Comes with fridge, coffee, water. I haven't looked in here yet, guys. So. <laughs> Did you see the throne? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's King Honey, that's King Honey. <laughs> King Honey. This is much better than bloody 470. 120,000 kip. 47 versus 12. Much better along here now that they've already done this road. So as I was saying it the last time I was in Savannah Cat, they've really got to do something to revitalize this riverside. Well obviously they already had that plan in place because they were doing the road up. I just did not realise how much, how extensively they would be doing the foreshore either. But all along here, it just used to be a big dust pile, like spare gravel car parks. Right along here, the few odd old buildings, but there's grass, paved walkways, lots of people down here jogging now. What a great area. Absolutely amazing, the change in such a short time. Well, it's been nine months, but... This is exactly what the place needed. <coughs> it's never struck me as a nice place to visit, really. Savannah Cat, this is, has really changed my opinion of the place. Yeah. You're probably thinking it's just a foreshore. No, but look at this. There is somewhere for people to come and admire the stunning view that was always here. It was just a dump of a foreshore before it was it was just run down and it hadn't been developed this is exactly what it needed 
I found a kebab shop guys nice chicken kebab very surprised by the different types of foods here also a big variety how you feeling Nene? Yeah. Yeah. up and down yeah. aren't you? yeah up Just and down like yeah roller coaster the name of this road. Oh, no. I thought it said Choking Road. Chowkin. I had the, the camera off then, guys, but Nini's come piss bolting around the corner because I'd walked ahead of her a bit <laughs> from this temple. Eyes wide and that. She's scared. She reminded me that the walls are actually made yeah, out of bones of people. All these big pillars, like stupas are actually um, that's where the bones of the deceased go in them so it is actually a wall of dead people <laughs> when you look at it that way yeah, yeah she's she's bolted across the road there now she doesn't want to walk next to it not at night hello Sabrina <laughs> hello now I did not stick that in her face, she was yelling out to me before I even seen her. No matter where you go in Lao, they all seem very friendly. They do, and not camera shy at all. You do get the odd ones. Phew, that don't want to be on camera. Doesn't happen very often. I was just taking still photos for my Patreon page and there was a barber shop Nini was looking in at uh, a dress shop beside it and when they seen I had a still camera in my hand well any type of camera they're up here pulling peace signs and sticking their thumbs up wanting their photo taken they were working on ladies hair one lady was down with bleach and everything in her hair while the hairdresser's there Pulling poses. <laughs> are you are you fucking around behind me or something? What are you up to? Uh. Nini's just ducked away to do some business with her house that she has here in Savannah Cat. We'll probably be getting away from here about midday. It's only a couple of hundred k's to Puxy, so there is no hurry. How are they doing there, Doug? I got a mate back home who drives one of these things, one of these concrete trucks. Big pump there. Laying a floor over the back. For some reason the lovely lovely lady here has just brought me a coat. That was nice of her. Imagine walking around a building site like this uninvited in a first world country. Ah, that's where he keeps his grinder in under the seat. Good spot for it. Right up, enough of that. Don't you know he's still not back yet? I might go and see if I can get this friggin' up. Uh, his head friggin' shaved a bit, eh? Hello. There it is there. There it is there. Hello Sabaidi. Can I get a haircut? Haircut? Okay. Thank you. Getting it done twice as quick. Much better looking barbershop than I'm used to going into. 20,000 kip he wanted to charge. I wasn't going to let him take that. Ended up getting, just throwing him 50. There we are. And this is where we walked past last night. Sabrina, 
It's a great little place here. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Okay, King. Thank you, my man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Well, about six machines in there. And they don't have on them which ones marked just for the local banks or which ones except Visa. It was a lucky dip. I failed on the first go. <laughs> All right, time has escaped us. It's a couple of minutes to 1 p.m. We got a four hour drive to Puxi. All right, 35 kilometer markets. They like naming markets after how far they are away from the city. So as you guessed, 35 kilometers outside of Puxi. We're going to see what we can get to eat. Looks like it's going to be chicken again. Look at this, trying to be first to sell their wares. No, you aren't getting in, you aren't getting in, he's saying. They're lucky the windows on the bus don't open. Usually they've run up to the side of your bus, like the chicken and watermelon type buses, and they sell it to you through the bus window. Somebody's going to get their foot run over it, they keep. <laughs> And, uh, they just let a couple on we'll take them and they will drop those girls off at the next bus stop and they will catch a bus back here it's kind of like a drive through they drive in pick a couple of them up drop them off at the next bus stop they'll catch a bus up coming back this way come back or somebody's down there to pick them up don't know how are they going to get a lift if they got no food let them to yeah no need for one watermelon, 5,000 yeah, pip. 50 cents for one watermelon. How, how much was the tomato? Um, bananas? This uh, is 8,000. Dollar 30 for a big hand of bananas and a watermelon. Incredible. Check out the front windscreen on the chicken and watermelon bus. You reckon it'd pass registration in Australia with a crack in the windscreen like that? <laughs> I think they got more saleswomen in there selling their food than they have actually customers. Hello, buddy. Savadi. Savadi. She come to see the governor. She want to free her man. Well, let the men I spend.